Well, good morning, my friend, and welcome to day six of the Spark One Week Challenge. Have you ever noticed that real courage frequently comes from individuals that you least expect? You know, I've recently spoken at a conference for business owners and their family members. These men, these women, they run large businesses, lead huge teams, and they strive for continuous improvement. It's a dynamic, it's a passionate, it's an engaged group. Playing off of a question asked of me after I was burned, I asked of the group, what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? In other words, what was it that got them out of bed early? What fired them up to do their absolute best all day long? They were given about 60 seconds to write their answer. These successful leaders, they grabbed their pens, they began writing. A minute later, I reminded the group that it's one thing to hear a story. It's even better to write down what it means for us, but it's transformative when we share it. So I asked for a volunteer to share their answer with the rest of the group. There was a long silence. So I asked again, my microphone must not have been working. Still nothing. Then from my left, a hand went up in the air finally, but it was a 10 year old boy the only child in the room and the son of one of the business owners was the only one to raise his hand. I invited the young man to stand and to share his name. Alec Chanley, he said. Alec, I asked, what are you courageously fighting for today? To which he replied, I don't do a lot of speaking. So if I seem nervous, guys, I'm really sorry. But my best friend in the world is my cousin, Tristan. He has been battling cancer for a couple of years. Everybody thinks it's terminal. So today I am fighting for the time to just be with him. And if he gets called home and does not survive this, I am fighting for the chance to be the man that he would have been. I want my life to make him proud. And then Alex sat down. In a room full of big, successful business owners and corporate leaders, the one hand that popped up was the hand of a boy. The one voice that was heard loudest came through a shy and anxious little kid. The one commitment remembered came from the one person who stood up while everybody else sat back. My friend, Enough listening to the voice of fear driving our decisions. Enough passively sitting in the stands as a spectator in life. Enough waiting until tomorrow to start living today. Enough. We are called to be active participants. We are invited to fully engage in work and fully engage in relationships. We are meant to soak up and reflect the gift of each day. We are intended to live today and every day on fire with life, fear, negative thoughts. These things bind us to concerns about what others might think about us. Ah, but courage and faith and action, that frees us to stand up, to step forward and to soar in life. So here, my friend, is your challenge. What? anxieties do you have in regards to not being enough? Maybe they're concerns about not measuring up and comparing yourself to others. Or maybe it's fear of not having what it takes in life to live the way you always dreamed and hoped to live. This is your day to ask the question, what more can I do? And to answer and to scream it out, enough enough fear, enough limiting beliefs, enough not fully living. This is your day to realize you are enough. And maybe it's time to start acting like it. This is your day to live inspired.